Today, we're going to break down DeAndre Corbe versus Keith Krikorian. We're not going to go over all the different parts in this breakdown, but we're going to go over the most important ones that will help you the most. Let's jump right in. As you notice, DeAndre Corbe and Keith Krikorian are focused on doing what? Breaking the hands off of them. If they can never ever let their opponent make connections, how can their opponent get anything off on them? And if you notice in this game with Arlon, both of our objectives were literally, if the hand touches you, peel the hand off any way you can. That is your objective when you play this game for both players. Peel the hand off any way you can, and there is no winner. This game is continuous. Seriously, if you wanna get good at wrestling, First, get really good at never letting your opponents make connections with their hands. And if the hand touches you, pull the hand off of you. After you play the first game, you're gonna play a second game. This is an inside positioning game. That literally means get your hands and your head in between your opponent's shoulders. And I don't care what you do, just get your hands and head in between your opponent's shoulders. The objective is the same for both players and there is no winner in this game. It is continuous. Now remember, if we get good at the skill of getting inside positioning with our hands and head, we will increase our chances of being able to control our opponents easier. That doesn't mean it's gonna be an end-all be-all solution to your issues, but it will increase your odds of getting better at wrestling. Now, do you notice that both world-class athletes are doing literally the same things we just talked about? One, they're breaking the hands off of each other. They're breaking connections. And two, they're battling for inside positioning with their hands and their head. This is simple stuff. It's not overly complex. It's not rocket science. It's just simple shit done at a very, very high level. Now, after you get good at these skills, you're going to get good at the skill of getting the elbows away from the body, the way you see me doing here, or across the body, the way you see me doing here. There's many different ways to do that, but next up, you're just focused on getting elbows away from the body or across the body. Now, why would we focus on elbows? Because if we can get good at getting the elbows away from the body or, or across the body, we will be able to close the distance afterwards. That could look like a single leg. Leg. It could look like a body lock. It could look like an underhook. It could look like all of the above. You're just trying to clear elbows away from the body or, or across the body in order to close the distance and hug the body. Now you're gonna play a third game to practice all this. Your objective is going to be for both players to get the elbows away from the body or across the body and then try to hug the body. Hugging the body could mean a double leg. It could mean a single leg. Hugging the body could mean an underhook. Hugging the body could mean a body lock. Whatever you do, clear the elbows away from the body or across the body in order to hug the body. Once you hug the body, you reset. That's how you win this game. And just remember, there are no takedowns in this game. And just a few friendly reminders, play within the rules of the game. And two, if your opponent puts hands on you and doesn't allow you to clear the elbows away or into the body, pull the hand off of you and then try to clear the elbows away or into the body. Now I want you to pause this video and ask yourselves a few questions. One, what are Keith Krikorian and DeAndre Corbe doing and why are they doing it? Now you saw Keith and DeAndre both grab each other's heads and try to get each other to post hands on the mat. Do you see the relationship right now between manipulating elbows away from the body or, or across the body and grabbing the head and trying to get the player to post hands? Now you're gonna see in this section, DeAndre gets heavy on Keith's head and shoulders in order to put him down to the mat. Look at DeAndre's head, look at his hands, look at his underhook, look at his overhook. All he's doing with his hands and head, underhook, overhook, blah, 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 blah. He's just getting heavy on the head and the shoulders. Just watch it again. You'll see DeAndre's just getting heavy on the head and shoulders. And why does he want to do this? Because Keith needs his head and shoulders to stand back up. DeAndre gets heavy on the head and shoulders and prevents Keith from standing back up. And since you guys like detail so much, look at my left hand. You'll notice that DeAndre put his hand in front of Keith's hip the way you see me doing right here. Why? Because this allows him to cover or stay heavy on both 
hips and shoulders at the same time, which prevents Keith from getting back up even more. Now in this part of the match, you're gonna notice that DeAndre takes his right hand and prevents Keith, or tries to prevent Keith from being able to get inside positioning with his foot. And when Keith starts to fight him at the hands, DeAndre starts to fight him back at the hands and they end up in that kind of weird leg lock inversion position everybody it's boring ass grappling but it's effective grappling who cares if it's boring brother, brother, who, cares? who cares who cares brother? who cares brother? who cares it works at the highest levels and it's highly highly effective now kudos to keith because when deandre was attacking him at upper body his hands he knew that deandre was preoccupied with upper body so he started attacking the lower body by inverting into a leg lock the feet knees and hips so you're gonna notice that Keith is attacking DeAndre's right knee and foot right now. DeAndre tries to stay heavy on that foot and knee to prevent Keith from being able to attack it more, but he brings his left foot and knee closer. When Keith sees this, Keith switches from the right knee to the left knee and then starts attacking that left knee. Another way to put this is when DeAndre splits Keith's knees, splitting Keith's knees allows him to prevent Keith from being able to use his hips or knees as much, he actually gives Keith access to his left knee, the secondary leg, and then allows Keith to capture it. Capturing the secondary leg is the idea of double trouble. Double trouble is coined by John Danaher. The idea of constructing dilemmas wherever we can. I create a dilemma here between a break on the secondary leg and a break, an even worse break, on the primary. Now you're going to notice in this section, DeAndre's first objective is going to be to clear Keith's feet off of him and get Keith's feet below his knees because getting Keith's feet below his knees allows him to free his knee line. After he's able to free his knee line, he gets heavy on the knees. You see how he's sitting on the knees? After he gets heavy on the knees, he tries to get heavy on the hips. Look at his right and left hand. After he gets heavy on the hips, he takes his right hand and tries to get heavy on Keith's shoulders and his hips at the same time. So look at his right hand on the shoulders. Look at his left hand on Keith's hips. After that, he tries to progress towards the the shoulders that's how he goes to try to take the back clear the feet off get them below the knees which allows him to free the knee line after he frees the knee line he sits on the he knees he gets heavy on the knees after he gets heavy on the knees he tries to get heavy on the hips with his hands after he gets heavy on the hips he tries to get heavy on the hips and the shoulders at the same time and then he tries to progress towards the shoulder it is. I feel like my heart's been beating this entire match trying to spin oh, wow. to the back DeAndre Corbe Oh, and he's got oh, the seatbelt! Wow. Now, if you're confused about knee lines, just pay attention to my knees and pay attention to Arlon's knees. I have Arlon's knee line right now because my knees are above his knees. If Arlon wants to free his knee line, he needs to get my knees below his knees. It's that simple. That's how simple knee lines are. Now, watch this all again. Pause the video and ask yourselves what you just learned. Now, since we're speaking of knees, I want you to pay attention to DeAndre's knees. His objective right now is to keep Keith between his knees. This objective of keeping the player between his knees or your knees is gonna help you 3X your back control. When he's trying to control Keith from the back, he's trying to keep Keith between his knees. Why does he wanna keep Keith between his knees? That is a question I'm asking you. Go home, pause this video, try to figure it out for yourself. DeAndre Corbe's main objective is going to be to keep Keith between his knees. Doesn't matter if he has his feet inside, I'm still between Arlon's knees. Doesn't matter if Arlon has a body triangle, I'm still in between Arlon's knees. So you're gonna play a game. Attacker's objective is literally going to be to keep me, Arlon's gonna keep me in between his knees. My objective as the defender is going to be to get my ass outside of Arlon's knees and try to face him. It could look like this. I could do it on the other side. Get your ass outside of the person's knees and try to face them.
see, even right here, when they start to go belly down, or Keith starts going belly down, he's still in between DeAndre's knees. DeAndre is always keeping Keith between his knees, no matter what. Now you're going to play a second game from right here. My job as the defender is going to be to either get my feet to my opponent's hips and try to face them, or try to face them without getting your feet to your opponent's hips. Getting my feet to my opponent's hips could look like this when they start to try to come into mount. And I face Arlon. Or I can try to face him without getting my feet to his hips. Or I can try to face him like this. His objective as the attacker is literally going to be to put me back in between his knees. That could look like Mount, where he comes up. That could look like him taking my back again. As long as he gets me back in between his knees, he wins. <laughs> Like always, stay within the rules of the game. Do not break the rules and do whatever the hell you want. Stay within the rules of the game. This isn't Pokemon. You can't just get a rare candy and cheat and do all that crap. It's not going to help you. Stay within the rules of the game. And just please notice, DeAndre is never thinking of things in terms of techniques. He's not thinking of things in terms of techniques. It's a, an objective. What are his objectives in these specific alignments? And typically his objectives, they never change. He can apply these objectives literally to almost everything he does in jujitsu. Hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. I tried to make it different than what you all see online. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Ciao.